Welcome back to the show, and now it's time for our healthy heart dessert. What are we going to make for a healthy well, heart dessert? We are going to make a chocolate fondue, but it's not your normal chocolate fondue. We are going to use just regular cocoa powder, bitter sweet cocoa powder, and a little bit of a cream. You know, we need a little bit of fat in order to uh, make it like in a cream, and a sugar because it's a little bit bitter. The, ch the cocoa is bitter, so we're going to use xylitol. There's our xylitol again. A sugar again. substitute. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's low, it low well. in glycemic index S again. Okay, Doc, you're explaining about the sugar, and I'm going to start. So we're going to put the sugar in. This way and we'll this is xylitol we have, but now right. you're also see, mixing it with the fluid first, right? That's yeah, the key see, with because, the xylitol. Right, because you see it starts to melting down. You see as a regular sugar, otherwise it will be a little bit uh, uh, thick uh, crystallization. So now we put a little bit uh, of the liquid. This way the and pan that's an organic, grass-fed cream. So it's healthy in terms of the fats, the omega-3 fats. And now, you know, now we're going to add some cocoa. We're going to have a little bit of cocoa. Uh, a couple of things about cocoa. Cocoa has the highest number of antioxidants than any other substance per ounce. Higher than goji berries, four times higher. Now, but what are antioxidants? When your body goes through normal chemical reactions, uh, it uses certain chemicals, let's say water. You got two hydrogens and you got two oxygens around. They come together and they make H2O. That means there's an extra oxygen floating around. That's called the free radical. Every uh, reaction in your body creates free radicals. You need substances to come along that neutralize them. That's what antioxidants are. Antioxidants keep you healthy. Cocoa's got the highest amount. You can't eat so much cocoa because of the other compounds in them. Um, which prevent it, so that's anyway, why you can have sun. As you see before, you know, we will start, it was like a little bit of paste. Now we dilute it down a little bit, so we make sure that we bring up the flame a little bit higher, and this way we'll... What about temperature? Creamy. You put cream in there, do we have to worry about the temperature? Well, usually when it comes to a boiling point, that's where we want to go, to okay. a boiling point. But if we want to reach the boiling point, uh, uh, slowly. This way, you know, nothing is burned, you know, we keep all the fat in and everything. So, so now it's stirring. a little bit too, if it's a little bit too liquid, don't worry, just add a little bit more cocoa to thickness. Got it. And again, it's best if you're using the non-dutched cocoa, uh, because when they dutch it, that means they've alkalized it. They've taken away some of the phenol compounds, they've made it less bitter, so it is a little bit sweeter, but it's less healthy. And if you really want to get that bang for your buck from all those phenols, you really want to use the non dutch oh boy, uh, look. cocoa. Boy, smell delicious and it's oh thickening up. See how it thickens nice. up? So at this point, it's very uh, so, hard that we control the flame. So, so it's we not, want to it's go in the low, cocoa that's and there the you problem. go, it's boiling, and we're ready to go. So, wow, wow look, huh? Thick. Nice. Nice. Now, if we were going to keep that true fondue style, uh, a low heat would be the way to keep it like that. Would right. you add a little bit of extra uh, liquid to, to help keep it nice? Uh, you you want could. To keep it you can hot keep. You can keep it hot all the time. Also, you can put it on uh, bain marie with you know with another pan on the bottom with a little bit of warm. This way it keeps warm. Also, you can get those fancy one. Mm -hmm. Those fancy thing you make your sauce. You put it over there on the ba on the bottom. It's got a those little heat, heat and you know it stays dark. nice and moist. Yeah. But here, what do we have? We have a beautiful cream. Okay, it looks like a fondue. And you know what? It's gonna taste like a fondue. So and that's duck, the key. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. So let's. Here we go. So previously we cut some other fruit. And so bananas. Bananas. Everybody knows bananas are very high in potassium. Potassium is essential for your heart. You want to make sure you have potassium. But here. in the beginning, I gave you a little quiz, and I said we're having tomatoes, very high in antioxidants. But there's something even higher, and guess what that is? Strawberries. Strawberries have the most vitamin C of any fruit. They have the most antioxidants, over 18 antioxidants in one strawberry. They're, again, antioxidants are great for fighting cancer. Antioxidants are also beneficial for keeping down inflammation. Inflammation drives sickness and disease. You know, and lastly, one more thing, and then it's up to you, Biagio. I got one more thing about the strawberries. Strawberries will actually help lower your blood sugar level. So chocolate wow. like this with a low glycemic sugar like xylitol and strawberries is great for diabetics. You know In what, moderation. Don? Yes, I'm getting angry. Maybe. Pass me another piece of bread. We'll okay. make it like, you know, a, a piece of bread. This way we'll put it over here. 
You want a, a thick slice? Well, just, just a little, little cubes. Piece. A little cubes. There little you cubes. go. Little cubes. Here's more. You know, we'll so you can even have a little bread with your no, fondue, exactly. the multi-grain bread. Multi-grain. Here you go. Dip that. Ah, I get to See, dip. See, you got the dip. See, this is the best part about you cooking is I get to taste. You know, but does that mean I have to clean up? Is that no, the problem? No, we, we will not make you clean up, but uh, uh, we'll figure something out.